Hello Pisces, how are you doing? How we doing? I'm just going to give you a reading. It's 12.55 right now. So I did the morning reading, now I'm doing another reading. Um, It is cold today here. It's kind of cold. Uh, For me it's cold because I'm always cold. So um, before I get my day started, I thought I'd do a reading and then get dressed and ready to go. All right now, so... Um, I did put all, I'm just selling the black walnut in the seven day bath. Um, and I will bag it up for you. Um, Ashley, you can do it yourself. I put all the instructions on there how to do it. You must, uh, all the instructions are on there. So I'm only selling them the seven day bath. I cannot sell anything else single. Okay. So, um, that's the only way I'm going to be selling that, um, walnut bath in the seven day bath. And there I'm telling you everything, how to do it and what to do while you're doing it. Just look right under the description, the description of it. And it's telling you everything you need to know about the walnut bath. It's important that you do it that way. Okay. So that it can work and do all the work that you want to be done. Okay, first of all, you must know that um, when you take a bath, you must take a shower before you even do this. You must then boil it on top of your stove and mix it, drain it, okay, drain it, and then mix it with your tub bath. The whole time you're doing this, you must tell it what you want removed from you, okay? But I wrote a description of everything on how to do it. I'm only selling the seven-day bath. All right, and I'm telling you, it's a guarantee. It works. Along with that, I do have my candles, okay? And this is a spell break of candle. If you don't have a tub and you got a shower, you're going to get um, a bag, a smash bag like this one, okay? And put let the water run all over you with that so it can work the same way, all right? And, um... You can use that more than one time. You have more than enough if you're doing it that way. I prefer to do it in a tub because that is the way that I like to do it. All right. Also, thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who um, uh, get private readings and donate. And thank you for all those who go onto my web and purchase my items. Also, no, please no. Know this, when you order the bracelets, you must tell me what beads you want on the outside. And when you order any spell candles, you must tell me what you want your candle to be about. I have all color candles, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I don't do no black candles. I do all candles but black. I don't want no black candles, even done in my house. I don't do the black candle. I don't work. Black, nothing. But I can break any spells you got. Okay? Um, but it's crazy because I burnt a candle for a uh, spell breaker candle for um, the full moon. That candle was pitch black. That means there was a lot of crazy, evil things done to me. And people thought they was going to get away with it, but they did not. Back to you. That right, back to you. Because I'm breaking all spells that come my way. And I don't care how they come. If you're thinking, if you're talking about me, whatever you do, back to you. And let me tell you, watch what you say. Watch what you say. And watch what you do. Because words you put out, that's enough. Okay? So I just want you to know. Um, I would love to show y'all the way that candle looked. It was disgusting to me. Okay? Disgusting. And that's how people feel about you and think about you. And it's ridiculous the way the world is. But that's the way they are. Okay? It's disgusting to me. It really is. You don't even know these people. Some of these people you know. But you think they want the best for you when they don't. Envy and jealousy are kill a motherfucker. Alright? So, as you know, I am the, the person, the queen of breaking spells. The queen of breaking spells. Don't get it fucking twisted. All right, so everything you did to me, I broke it, broke it, and I would love to show you the candle the way it looks, all right, 
because I broke it. Thank you. Now, um, I have all kinds of baths that you may take, all kinds of herb baths and all. But when I bow to you and say, my walnut bath is the shit, it is the shit. I also do my own salt baths. I also do my own herb bath. I am the one to do that. And I have things here that can clean your home if you're looking to take it out of your home. And I do air everything out my house. I open every window in my house, okay? And I air it out. And you can do this with many things, all right? But I do break spells, all bad spells. I don't work bad spells, but I break them. All right, now, um, I'm doing this reading, and I want to say thank you for all of you that truly love me and, you know, are always here for me no matter what, all right? No matter what, you with it. Happy birthday to Pisces. It is the end of Pisces season right now for this year. So happy birthday. And Pisces, no one thing, you still shining. Bright as ever. This is your time to shine. It ain't no going back. It's going forward. And don't forget that. All right? Now, let's start this reading. Also, I didn't do my rock to block um, party um, this week because I thought I would go out and see more of the moon, but it, it wasn't out there. But the stars was incredible. They were lined up. Lined up, honey. I wish I could have showed y'all. took a picture, but my, my phone won't take a picture like that, okay? But they were lined up. Um, so, and that's um, every Saturdays at 6 East Coast time, 5 o'clock Central time, and 3 o'clock West Coast time if you want to go into my wedding uh, single sites, okay? It's growing. It's a baby. But I will be taking off for that also, okay? All right. Um, Pisces, uh, keep your business to yourself. You're better off keeping your business to yourself. Please do. Go outside, take walks, all right? Breathe the fresh air, you know? Um, take your shoes off, touch the sand, the rocks, the cement, whatever it is. Meet yourself with nature because you need to do that, especially right now, all right? And now that it's getting warm, you can go um, take a walk on the beach or the rivers or whatever. You got streams or whatever it is. Get in touch with that water. Okay, the birds are coming out. Look at the colors of the birds. Like they say, um, black um, feathers are um, connected to earth sign. Gray feathers are connected to Pisces. All right? And you know white feathers mean the world. All right now, and so what else I have to say? So Pisces, if you like what I'm saying, please don't forget to give me thumbs up. And also, come into my space and let me be in your journey. All right, so here we go. Tell me what Pisces need to know. Tell me what Pisces need to know. They're flying out. The first car is, uh, the chair is full. Someone new is entering your life. Whoa! Yes! 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 yes. Pisces, somebody new is coming into your life, honey. It says November. I don't know. I, I got to take out these um cards out. So we're going to put that on the line because I got I to gotta separate them. All right? And it says hands, M. It got the initial M, so I don't know what that means, but in, oh, in need of help, assistance, and gratitude. In need of help, assistance, and um, guidance. So somebody is in need of help, okay, with guidance. Maybe you're looking at YouTube. Maybe you're going to church. Maybe you got um, a mentor, okay? A mentor is opening your eyes to these things. It says eyes. Psychic ability. Trust your intuitions. So, okay, so somebody new is coming into your life. Um, and it looks like an M. I don't know. That's what it says on that palm of their hand. 
somebody probably um, getting their palms red or something. I don't know. But it says, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you need assistance and guidance. All right. And it says, keep your eyes open. Psychic abilities. Okay, that third eye. You're very psychic. You're Pisces. Trust your intuition. Follow your intuitions. They're not going to lie to you. You must follow your intuitions. Okay, please do follow them. It's important that you follow your intuitions. They're guiding you somewhere. They, they're telling you um, about something that maybe you can't see right now. But you need to follow your intuitions. Know that your intuitions are not lying to you. They're not lying to you and they won't lie to you. You just got to follow them. Okay, all right now, but someone new is in your life, and some of y'all already got this new person in your life, some of y'all don't. I don't have nobody in my life, and it says, um, in need of help and assistance and guidance and um, psychic ability so you can see things, you know it, you just got to trust in it. Okay, it says, the Knight of Pentacles, maybe this person is dark or. Um, um, somebody is clearing things out or making clean, um, land or whatever it is, uh, making plans, um, seeing how they're going to move towards you, but, or move along, but they got money in their hand or whatever it is they want to move, but they're not moving. They just sitting there looking at how they want things to be or, or, um, Deciding um, the blueprints or whatever it is that they got going on in their lives or wanting to do with you. A lot of people, um, I feel like sometimes, um, like, somebody want to come towards you, but they don't come towards you because they, you kind of got them confused one minute. They think, that, you know, or they want everything to be over with, whatever it is that was there, or maybe they feel like, um, have you got over a situation? They really don't know how to come towards you. Um, but this is laying the foundation to a situation or moving on. Somebody here uh, is wanting to do something with you, and this is in the material world. The material world, what is it giving you? Somebody's probably working on their own, by themselves, got their own company, work for themselves. Somebody here is clearing out land. Maybe you built it on land. Maybe you um, 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 growing crops this year. Something you're doing new. you laying your, your foundation. You're making sure your money's right to get something done. Um, but you're doing a lot of work by yourself on this. It ain't no help. It's you by yourself doing. Okay, Capricorn Tarts of Virgo is in this house. All right, it's, it's talking a lot about your money. All right. But somehow, some way, you're feeling stuck. Or you feeling like you can move out of a situation or whatever plan this is. Or maybe somebody feel like they want to come to you and offer you something. And they're working hard to come to you. But at the same time, this person don't know how to get out of a situation. Or maybe feeling that they can't move towards you for whatever's going on in their head. Or maybe um, they don't have enough to offer you. Or something here that's keeping them away from you. Um, but um, Or it may be that they are afraid to come to you because... They know that you really got it going on, honey. All right? But somebody here is sitting on something, being still about it. Um, but work on their own. Do a lot of work by themselves. Somebody does a lot of work on their own by themselves. Somebody is a workaholic. Somebody's always working. But I feel like while you're working, you still can't get something out of your mind or something is always in your head, or you're thinking about this person, or this man is thinking about this woman, 
um, or somehow, some way, you can't get somebody out of your mind. I don't know, but I guess it's like, it's like, how can I say that? You know how some people say, some people can get high, but they still go to work. They can focus. They can still work. Um, you know, however that goes. Oh, excuse me. I just feel like it's somebody here that the nights, the night, this night is not even moving. It's just sitting there with the coins, not making no money, just sitting there. I, I just sit there, just looking at everything, ain't moving no way, ain't doing shit, just sitting the fuck there, the night. You know, either you're coming or you're not. I don't know what they're doing. They just sitting there. I don't know what they waiting for, whatever. C by C, plan your future with a uh, study uh, foundation of faith, okay? Um, hard work, determination, standstill, building material security. Um, somebody is working hard on a landscape. Um, somebody here is working fucking hard, making sure they do what they got to do. Somebody here is a workaholic. All they do is work, 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 work. Um, somebody here is really working hard, um, uh, on a material gain a new career, a promotion, new responsibility, new challenges. Um, somebody here is, it's like they got a plan, right? Everything is planned out, but they, they just stand in it. They're not moving, all right? Um, they got a plan. It's like they, they say they, they, they got a plan to do this and do that, but they're sitting there. Or maybe they wait to get more money to make to make this happen or, or built on something. Okay. And then from there you got um the eight of pentacles. All right. The eight of pentacles. I see somebody like somebody is making money. Somebody is sitting, I don't know what they're doing, but they stand sitting in front of maybe uh a desk in front of their computers in front of their altar um making candles making jewelry making um bath salt making bath bombs making um uh working on information to do something um packaging shit um uh Whatever they're doing, they sitting constantly in front of something doing it. It's like you constantly sit in front of your desk doing this all day, all night, just coming with different formulas and doing things, um, seeing how you can move things, um, making a way to do it. It's something here that you constantly on. I see herbs. I see candles. I see um, somebody been sitting here. Wait on this success to happen, and it's going to happen. It's getting ready to boom. Like, your shit is getting ready to take off. But I also feel like, um, but because you're determined to do this. You're, you're determined to make things happen for you. It's like you are determined to get to what you want. Um, whatever it is. I don't care what. It's like you want your money to come back to you. It's like you're putting it out, but you want it to come back. You're putting it out, but you want it to come back. You want to see... You want, it's like you planned out something, you planted it, you did it, and now you see your money coming back to you, all right? That's that's how you see things coming back to you, all right? Because you did the work, you put the work in it. But um, I also feel that, um, I also feel like somebody here feels like they need to be free to choose and heal and see the light. Somebody here is freeing themselves because um, advancement, um, somebody wants to better themselves, all right? Um, see things clear. 
um, a sharp focus, um, um, breaking through. It's like somebody here wants to just take their blindfolds off and break through from something that kept them um, in a place that they was in for a minute. The need to let go of restrictions. Don't let nothing restrict you from what you're doing. All right? And you understanding, being free to move, to, to being free to move, to make movement, to act, to, to um, you know, to break all boundaries. Okay? Um, a limit restriction. Okay? Advancement. Sometimes you only do what you know to do because you don't know. It's like you used to doing things one certain way. You got to get up out of that. All right. Um, you need to see things for what they are. You need to see beyond the veil. Everything is going to be illuminated to you. You need to see I feel like now, you know, I, I just feel like this. Like now when I do readings, I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Because my life ain't nowhere near the way it used to be. Like, I'm not seeing nobody. I, I mean, I ain't doing no reading on who I'm seeing and what I'm seeing because I ain't seeing no damn body. All right? Like, I, I don't have nothing going on but what I do for a living. That's what I got going on. I have nothing else going on but what I do for a living. But somebody here... um been sitting there holding on their money and but they've been working their ass off but somebody here feels like they stuck for some reason like you're stuck like you you feel like you, you you're not stuck because somebody got you stuck you you stuck because you making yourself be there or be in a situation you don't want to be in because you are you know I don't know you you don't you need to See things for what they are and stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop like saying everything that's going wrong in your life because you want it to be that way. Nobody's holding you where you're at. All right. The three of wands. Um, somebody here is a lot of books, messy as fuck. They got books everywhere, everything they need to do things. But it's like, are you focusing? No, it seems to me like you fucking bored. It seems to me like you so smart, but at the same time, you bored. You're doing all kinds of chemistry stuff. I, I see you trying to make things, but it, all these numbers on the wall, you might be a teacher, a science teacher. Um, you studying something, maybe law, something here. You, you studying to do stuff. Maybe you go to school. Maybe you go to college. I don't know. But it's you're sitting here like you bored, like you just staring Staring at the whatever's in front of you and ain't doing nothing about it. You just sitting there staring at shit. All right? You're in the days. Maybe something happened that, you know. I feel like some people put themselves in a situation where their money always go to shit that they put themselves into. Like dumb shit. Like just stupid shit that they get themselves into. You know what I mean? Like, Usually here you are, I am expecting and um, something that I know your dreams to be on their way, right? Um, discovering, uh, okay, wondering, imagination, all right? Uncovering, creativity. Um, this is an energy of manifesting, waiting for the results of your effort. The arrival of um, opportunity, final understanding your bits. Continue to improve and move in the right direction. Progress. But when I look at this picture, it looks to me like somebody is not dreaming big. Not dreaming big enough, just sitting there like dazing. Or um, fear um, coming up to block your uh, movement. Or some type of fear that's, that you feel is blocking your movement from coming up. All right? Or you feel like it's delays here. And I know that because you got this. You got this card. Which shows me that you're not following your intuitions. You and your thoughts about your money. Maybe you feel like things ain't moving the way you want them to move. Maybe you feel like your money slow down. I don't know what you're feeling. But it's something here 
that you feel like you you put the work in, but you want you want the work to be moving, all right, the way you want it to move. Now, again, check it out. Again, you got the Eight of Swords, the same damn car showing up again. The same car. Here it shows you like you tied up, you blindfolded, right? Right? But here it shows the back of this car. So this is the front and this is the back. So you acting like you tied into a situation because it might have money involved um, and money ain't moving. Or the money ain't moving, it, but it's somebody here working by themselves. Like maybe this person is the boss or whatever it is. I don't know. But um, you feel like you're stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in. It might got to do with money. I don't know. But then um, you got the three of uh, wands, which you're not even focused on what you need to focus. It looks to me like you're bored. You, your mind is somewhere else, not where it needs to be. That's not good. You need to focus on your money and not something else. If it ain't nothing going on in my life, even if it was, I'm not going to focus on that. That ain't making me grow. I'm going to focus on my damn money. Okay? Because if I ain't seeing a person and I ain't doing nothing with them, what the fuck am I going to focus on them for? They done moved on with their life. Why are you focus on focusing on something else and it's not benefiting you? So you'd rather sit there and focus, focus, focus something. When it's 50 million things that you can do, no, you focusing on something out of your control. Why are you focusing on something out of your control? You can't control a situation, but you need to get back and focus on what you need to do, all right, and stop focusing on what ain't because you, you're very smart. You can do anything you want, but it's like you you stuck on something that is not allowing you to grow, and you the only one there because you're not even... Nobody even got you stuck on this. It's like you stuck on it on your own. You the one that's got yourself all tied up. Ain't nobody tied your ass up. Let the fucking let the um the uh the rope go and you'll see how quick you'll be untied. Why are you sitting here? Oh, I, I need to do this, but I'm thinking about that. Okay, oh, I, I should be making my candles, but I'm thinking about what if I still got a chance here. Um, well, I should be, um, reading my book and study more about what I need to know. All right. But no, this thing keeps popping up in my head is blocking me from what I need to do. Blocking yourself from what you need to do. Shit. I done got my candles going. I done got a whole new thing about this, um, walnut bath because it's like, I'm giving you all my damn money. How the fuck am I giving you all my money? Let me just write, bag this up the way it's supposed to be bagged up, right? Instead of me throwing my damn money out the window. That's the problem I have. I always give people my everything. So let me re-go back and do it the right way, okay? Do it the right way. The right way. The right way is to package it the right way and tell you how to use it the right way. Get your money out of it because you're going to get it because you're going to rip that energy that you got in you the right way. Follow the instructions at the bottom, all right, of the description of the walnut, how to get it and how to use it, right? Everything is there the right way. And that's the way I'm doing it, the right way, okay? So I have to redo the whole thing because what the fuck? I'm just throwing my money out the damn window. Yes, I am. Like, throwing my money out the window. I'm not making my money. I'm just throwing it out the window. I can't be doing that. All right? Just like I help you, I got to help me. And look at this shit. This is so fucking weird. Now, on this end, you got a man here, a man. Can do a lot of shit, but he's smart as fuck. But sitting there 
thinking about every fucking thing that ain't going right in his life or think about everything that he done fucking got himself caught up in. You, in the meantime, in the middle here, um, not even knowing in this picture that you got it all going on, my love, whoever this cross watch is, but then you sitting here um, feeling like you in stuck in this situation, which you're not stuck in shit, all right? And then look at you. Both of y'all seem like y'all doing the same old fucking shit. It's like y'all, I, I just feel like it's two people here that spend most of their time thinking about each other even though they're not together. Two people here that want, you know, somebody here can, is working for themselves and then another person has a job or whatever it is. It's like, even when you at work, even you could be doing anything, but you find yourself still thinking. Like, you can't get past this situation. When I'm going to give you um, Cross Watcher, I'm just in, in Pisces. I'm going to give you um, an advice. Why don't y'all both meet up, get this shit squared away, okay? Have a real conversation with each other. And then both of y'all can eat whatever y'all going to do, y'all going to do. But this got to stop because it's like I'm doing everything I'm doing. I'm opening this. I'm doing this. But somehow, some way, I'm still there. Even though you're not there in the physical part, you're still there. I mean, it's some, it's some closures need to be done here. And then when you've done that, you can move on in a happy way, in a healthy way. All right? Yes, in a healthy way. Because look at this. The lovers. Gemini, I just believe it's, some, it's two people here that are feeling something for each other. But both of them are stubborn. Both of them work. They can't stop thinking about each other. Um, Both of them are stuck... In their own, it's like they got their own boundaries, their own ego, their own pride. And they won't release themselves to make a move to talk to each other. And to me, it, it, listen, it is what it is. I don't fucking know. But in order for you to move on to a better you, something got to be done. Something's got, it's got to be closure. Okay, somebody can be like, well, I'm not going to talk to her because she still went over what I did or what I said to her. Well, I'm not going to talk to him because, you know, he did me this. And and then both of y'all being like, well, I'm over that already. But neither one of y'all know that both of y'all over it because both of y'all think that y'all still on what happened when neither one of y'all are still thinking about what happened. Y'all done said, I'm over the situation, but now it's time to meet up because we got to clear the air somehow, some way. I mean, damn. Lover, somebody here cares. Gemini, somebody is sitting, they, they reaching out to you. They, both, honey, this is a mess. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Now look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. Having it all. Wanting it all. The material world. The house, the car, everything. They, it, it's like two people working their ass off and if they did it right and Stop worrying about everything else. You can have everything. Because there's two people here that make money and can have anything they want together. But I feel like it's two people that went through something and both of them are thinking the same shit about each other. And whatever y'all think about each other is not the truth. It's the opposite. Right? Because whatever happened, happened. I think it gave y'all time to to think differently. And that's why both of y'all still stuck because I don't want to be the kind of person that meets somebody or out here looking for somebody to replace what I had. How am I going to replace what I had by looking for somebody else? All right. And if I do that, that means that I carry what I had 
even though I'm over that and that this person, the new person is taking over that space, it's still the same shit because I'm, I'm taking that energy into this energy. And so I don't want to do that. I want to deal with the situation. Okay. I just want to have a regular conversation and it ain't no, the, talk to me about the situation. That's what I want to know about the situation. The situation is why y'all not together. All right. You can't move on until you clear the situation. And that's what I'm saying. The situation. You can't go around the situation. The situation is what it is. Damn. And a lot of people, and let me tell you, this ain't for everybody. This ain't like, oh, well, I got a divorce. We settled. I ain't talking to you. Oh, well, he left me for another one. I ain't talking. I'm talking about a real situation. All right? And there you go again. Okay? Lovers, ten of pentacles, and then the two of cups. So here, he, listen to this. Here's, he's reaching out to you. Here, you giving him your hand. So somehow, some way here, it's just something needs to be done about a situation where two people that are not together, don't speak, don't even text, don't even, it's just like, it's just too much. And you looking everywhere, go within yourself because this is what you need to do. Somebody, it's hard because how about if you don't have nobody to talk to about this situation? Then what? How about if you don't talk to your friends? Don't talk to, to church members? Don't do nothing. So you in a situation stuck on top of going through the situation. You just got to deal with it in your own way, which is hard because you have nobody to talk to. So this shit is fucked up all the way around. And the people you already talked to, you don't even want to talk to because you're not in that space any fucking more. You don't need to talk to nobody about it because nobody's going to understand. They were there when the situation was ugly. You don't moved on from that um, energy and you're in a situation right now where you're not even on some crazy ass energy about what happened. You are calm and cool and just trying to figure this shit out. But you can't figure it out if the next the person is not sitting there talking to you. And that's what it's about. Damn, shit. Wear me out even doing a damn reading. That's what it's about. The situation needs to be talked to. Need to be put out on the table. All right? It's a situation here that needs to be really talked about. Because it's two people here. You can act like you don't care about a person all you want, but I know you're lying. Play attention to the red flags because that's the problem. That's all you're doing. And the thing about it is, I read in this book, the person that made the book, that play attention about the red flags, romance angels send you this card to help you notice the unhealthy or um, um, dis... Um, certain parts of your relationship all right if you are swept up in a new romance this card serves as a cautious warning if you in a new relationship is saying cautious warning play attention to your feelings and your um how you impress it with regardless to the new suitor that's coming in your life don't allow emotions to blind you, all right, to um, a cap, some type of characteristic or habits that won't work for you in a relationship. So what it's saying that everything that you went through, okay, don't try to replace it with somebody new because it ain't going to work. That's what I just said, okay? A red flag is a sign of something that is off. It can in indicate that um, um, discomfort, dishonestly, disrespected, somebody that's flirting with someone else, all right? 
somebody that don't even acknowledge you, the lack of inter interrogation, interrogates. While your new love um, is there, may, uh, may treat you wonderful, while in the beginning of your relationship, okay, remember that that too will threaten you and that they, they too can treat you like the other person did. Someone basically, a basic um, character is revealing by the way in which he or she talks or act with people from the restaurant um, staff, a valet parking, um, a, a gas attendant, or anybody. Just watch how they treat other people around you. If you in, in a steering relationship, there's a red flag may um, sign the need for you to be honest, okay, and have an honest discussion or go see counseling, okay? So if, if you still find yourself um, uh, seeing somebody here or replacing this person with a new person and you ain't dealt with what you're supposed to deal with, it ain't going to be good. Because it's telling you you're going to go through the same shit you went through before with the new person. If you can't fix what you went through. Okay? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is that you're in, working in your love life. And the reason why I had to come dig this book out. Because I had to find out what is the meaning about that. And be cautious with kids and all that. Nah. It, it, let's find out the real meaning. So now you know the real meaning. Play attention to the red flag. If you, just like I said through this whole reading, if you can't fix what's wrong or you can't sit down and have a decent conversation, whoever you're meeting, you're going to take your badass habits to where you was at before. Soulmates. This could be your soulmate. Attraction. You attract romance by enjoying the moment fulfilled. Someone from your past, you have known this person before. All right? I just want to try to keep my shit right and real. I'm not going to keep saying, play attention to the red flag. This person's coming in your life or somebody. No, no, no. It's a reason why I'm saying that. Because you ain't over the past. So you can into the new. Tell me, tell me more what I need to know. You know, look at this. You taking this boat from the water to the sky. Beautiful. Beautiful. Moving on up, baby. Like they say on um, baby, we moving on up. Yeah, honey. Oh, uh, I forgot who that who does who sings that. Moving on up. Okay, Fred. No, that ain't Fred and Sanford. No, but the Jeffersons. There you go, the Jeffersons. Thank you, spirits. Are you moving on up, honey? You you luck is all up in this whole situation. I mean, a lot of y'all moved up. A lot of y'all meeting new people. But remember, you got to change a lot of things. You got to, some of y'all did close the past. Maybe, you know, but some of y'all haven't. And some of y'all don't understand what the hell is all up in your damn head about the same damn thing. Okay. Honor. Somebody is waiting, looking out the window, baby. Okay. Somebody can't stop thinking about you. Now, I ain't crazy. I know what the hell I'm reading. Work it, work it, work it. That's all I can say. Teach his own. Live in your own lives or tell the truth. You know, some people want to act like they old. And, and, no, I ain't doing that. Yes, the fuck you are doing that. Yes, you are. I don't care how much you say you don't like. You can tell me anything you want. But the damn reading, don't lie. And this is a general reading. And if it's applying, give me thumbs up. And if you like, give me thumbs up. And if you're living a lie, then fucking give me thumbs up too. Because you're the only one living a damn lie. You lying to yourself. You ain't lying to me or nobody else. Ain't nobody. Shit, you ain't sleeping with me. I ain't got to deal with the shit. You lying to your damn self about a situation. And keep on lying about it. All right, now I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. If you need a reading, get it from me or somebody else. Bye.